Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to add tracked inventory items to your projects in Zero Projects. This video is part of a full series on Zero Projects. So if you want to learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. Okay, let's jump into Zero now and see how it's done. So what we'll do is we'll use this cafe project for the new patio. If we have a look into it, we've got the cement bag in there, but that's coming through as untracked. So we just buy and sell that without putting it into inventory. So what we want to do is we actually want to use something in our inventory in this project. So if we go to products and services, okay, we can see that we don't really have anything appropriate in our inventory. So what I'll do is I'll just create an item for some wooden posts. Okay, so I've just called it posts as the item code and given it the name wooden posts. And what we need to do then is just fill out the details for purchasing and selling the item. So this is obviously something that we purchase because um, it's a physical item and we actually want to put it into inventory as well. So just tick on this checkbox uh, down here and it will bring up your inventory asset account. Obviously, if you use a different asset account, um, then you need to select that here. But in the demo company, we've just got the one inventory asset account and that's the one we're going to use. Okay, so the purchase price I'm just going to say is $10. For cost of goods sold, you can just choose cost of goods sold and then we'll sell them at $20 each and we'll put them to sales. So that's all good. Click on save. Okay, so this is our item down here. Cost price of 10, sale price of 20, quantity nothing. So if I click into it, we can see all that detail here. We don't actually have anything in there at the moment. So we need to create a purchase transaction to actually buy some wooden posts. So let's just go to bills and new bill. Okay, just pick any supplier at all. I'll just pick that basket case again just put a due date in and then over on item, you just need to select your wooden posts right there. And for the quantity, let's buy a hundred of them and they'll go to inventory, which is fine. So that all looks good. And we'll just click on approve. Okay. So we'll just go back to products and services. And now we can see our posts here. We've actually got 100 there in the quantity. Okay, and if we click into it, we can see the quantity, the average cost there, the total value. And down here, it's just got that bill uh, that we just created in the recent transactions and the plus 100 there for the quantity. Okay, so that's all ready to go. If we just go back to our project and we'll go into the new patio and we will add an expense and we'll just find the posts right there wooden posts okay so you can see that that's filled in all the details that we need except for the quantity so let's just say we'll use 10 posts the unit price um, and the unit price that we sell it for is all filled out from what we put into the inventory item but of course you can change it if you need to i won't change it we'll just leave it we'll click on save okay so that's come down there now as a 200 dollar um, charge to the client for 10 wooden posts. So it's come through untracked expenses, but it is actually going to affect our tracked inventory, but only if we actually invoice the client. So I'll just show you at the moment, if we go back to products and services, you can see here that we still have 100 as our quantity because we haven't actually invoiced the client yet. So we'll go back to projects and the patio and we'll just create a tasks and expenses invoice. Okay, so now we've got the wooden post there. It's brought in all these other costs as well. So we'll just go ahead and just leave it all in there and just save and open our invoice. Okay, so there it is. So we've got that inventory item there of the wooden posts. We're selling 10 of them and we've got all those other items there as well. We just need to put in a date and we'll just fill in these um, GL codes here as well, like so, and then click on approve. Okay, we'll go back to our project 
and into our patio project. Okay, so now we've got that in there. We've got the invoice in there. And if we go back to products and services, all right, now we've got 90 as our quantity. So we'll just click into it and confirm. We've got 90 there on hand. And that's because we have used 10 of them on that project and we've actually included it in the customer invoice. Okay, so that's how you can add tracked inventory items to your projects.